What's happening, YouTube? Links Forte here, bringing another episode of the Pokemon Solo Run. And if you guys can't tell, Cutie Fly is our Pokemon of choice. Uh, last left off, we took on Elima, and now we need to go do the um, we need to go do the Island Challenge, and we'll go to the Pokemon Center first. Oh man. Okay, so I I I've been kind of like kind of been wanting to, no no I'm not sure if I really want to tell you guys it's like that's what I'm stuttering on words. I don't really know if I should tell you this one. I won't give you as much detail. So I've had this bump on my back for about a day and a half, right? It it was annoying for me to go to sleep. And it it was just painful. Like it's right on my spine basically. Um, anytime I would try to move a little bit, I, I would feel pain and discomfort and I just didn't have anyone like to do anything about it. So I ended up texting, um, one of my friends and she says, well, you know, if you come to my place, like I can get rid of that for you. I was like, okay. Like I, at this point, I'm not caring like what's being done about it. Like I just need it gone. Cause like, it's so, it, it causes me so much discomfort and so you know she didn't get off work until like she got off work really late uh, I think she didn't get home until like 9 o'clock is when she she hit me up and so she's like hey I'm home if you, uh, you want to come through and I'm like yes thank you like that's how much pain I was in like I, I couldn't wait to go to her place just to get this thing off my back and so like I had sent her a picture of it but, you know, a picture can only tell you so much of, like, how big it actually is. So I get to her place, um, you know, I pull up my shirt, and I tell her, like, hey, you're going to need gloves and all this other stuff. She's like, cool, got it covered. And so, basically, she eased some of the pain. Like, it, like, it still hurts a little bit because she said it wasn't developed enough to where, you know, she can get everything. She, she can make all of it go away. But... I feel so much better. <laughs> I was like, I was in so much pain. Like it, everything was hurting. Like if, I don't know if you guys have ever been in the pain to where it's like you're in so much pain that it hurts your, like you, you feel some pain in your stomach or something. Like that's how much pain I was in. Like I was feeling it in my stomach and uh, wait, what do I have to do? Yeah. Just talk to him. And is he going to give me the Tauros now? Wait, wait, wait. What did he say? Sir? Get this orange trench chrome down now. I want to give him a little pat. Okay. So, yeah. Um, like, I, I just say all this to say you need some, you need great friends in your life. You need great friends in your life because I, I have friends that would do that for me. Like, I have one other friend that I know that would do that for me, but I just don't know. Like, but he's like two hours away and so I can't just call him up and like yo I need you to take care of this like I told him about it and he told me yo you need to take care of that I was like I know <laughs> but um yeah I, I, you need friends like that in your life if you don't have a friend like that in your life you may need to reassess your friends <laughs> oh man but anyway so what I really want to talk about is what you see on the screen there not the Makuhita but right below that uh, selfish reasons drive most of our actions. So, uh, I had a conversation with someone the other day. And it was just, like, about philosophy and stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I like listening to philosophy. I like listening to different things. But if you try to change my, my beliefs, I, I'm going to tell you to fuck off. But I was talking to this guy, and he says what he's looking what he believes is anything we do in life is based on a selfish reason so i asked him I was like what makes you say that because i really didn't understand and so he says to me anything you do you're doing for self gain and i was like what i was like i was like i really don't believe that so he asked me uh, when you go to the store, 
What are you? Wait, did I just see a square pop up on the screen? I saw a square pop up on the screen when on the screen when Ghastly came out. Ah, that was weird. I have to watch it um, after this battle or after this recording. But yeah, so he said, when you go to the store, what are you doing? I said, I'm probably buying food so I can live. He said, selfish reason. I was like, yeah, but that's so I can live. <laughs> like, I have to eat to live. He said, yes. But when you buy something that is not essential to you living, for instance, he's like, he, he asked me, uh, do you own a video gaming system? I was like, yeah, I own a couple. Why? It's like, I like games. But you don't need them. You want to play. You, like, you're buying the game for yourself. No one told you to go out and buy this game for you. For them. It, you're buying the game for you. And I was like, uh, I mean, I like entertainment. Yeah. So, it, it was like, he wasn't convincing me on any of this stuff. And I asked him, I was like, well, what about when people, like, give money to charities and things like that? I was like, some of them have good intentions. But if you ever go back to the first time that they gave money, it can probably go back to being a selfish reason. And I was just like, I don't understand, like, how can being, how can giving money be selfish? And he says, when a church gives money to whatever, you know, whatever thing that they're giving money to, he says, like, they're trying to get right with God or whatever person that they believe in. I was like, I told him, I was like, look, I need you to stop. Like, I, I don't like people going attacking religion. I don't care what religion you're a part of or what religion, you know, what you believe in. I don't like people attacking religion. Like, it's just something I feel like that should be left alone. So he says, fine, that's okay. So when a person in general, whether they have money or not, you know, let's let's look at it. Maybe a person doesn't have money. I could have sworn somebody wanted to battle. Oh, it's that kid right there. Okay. So he says, look at it. If somebody has money, what? Why are they giving that money? Why are they giving that money away? You know, most most people who have money, they're pretty stingy with their money, and they don't want to give it up. They're looking probably for karma reasons. And. I'm like, what? I was like, okay. I mean, you know, that's a stretch, but I can see where you're going with this. He says, people who don't have money that give it, they're probably, I know you said you didn't want to listen hear this, but it's probably for a religious reason, or it's because they feel like karma is going to, you know, return the favor. They're looking to try and have a better life for themselves. And in some weird way, they believe that this is going to make their life better. And I thought about it. You know what? I have given money before. And the first time I think I gave money, I was like, it probably was for like a karma type reason or something like that. Like, you know, I was a college kid giving money. I have no idea why. It just felt like the right thing to do. But, you know, and then I told him that. And he says, yeah, people do it for that reason. But it can all go back to there's probably a reason for it. I was like, I mean, I, I can't say 100% that every everything we do in our life, you know, has a selfish reason. But I can understand where he was trying to come from. He just didn't explain it well. So I was thinking about it and I said, you know what, let's, do, let's look at it like this. The friends we have in our life, since I, you know, started talking about friends in the beginning of this episode. The friends we have, we have them because they entertain us. If they do not entertain us or we do not like them for whatever reason, we don't consider them friends. We don't want to be associated with them at all. So, had he said something like that, I probably would have believed him, but he decided to go on the money route. And that guy was an idiot for doing it that way. He should have gone the friend route or something like that. But I think when you look at it that way, you can say selfish reasons to drive most of our actions. Which is why I typed it the way I typed it there. 
Because that's what I think now. Like, I, I think it's most of our actions. Like, you know, like I said, you have friends. If you don't like someone, like, everything about a friendship is about you. That friend has to appeal to you. Just because you appeal to them does not mean they appeal to you. And if they don't appeal to you, you really don't want to associate with them. Or if you're calling somebody a friend and you really don't like them, it's probably for personal gain. <laughs> like, that's just the way I feel about it. Like, I I don't know, man. I, I really think that, like, you know, after thinking about it, I really think that this guy was on to something. He just didn't know how to say it. Like, I think it was something he came up with and he, he just didn't sell it right. But, you know, whatever. That's just something I think everybody should think about. I mean, you can kind of ask me, like, well, why are you posting videos on YouTube? Honestly, I just wanted my battles to be seen. Like, I felt I was a good battler, and this goes back to being selfish. I felt like I was a good battler. So I was like, ah, you know, I got a little extra money lying around. I'll go buy a capture card and post them online because I feel like um, I'm good enough to do so. Now, you can call that being cocky, but, I mean, if you guys saw my last battle, I was making predictions out the ass. Granted, spoiler alert, I lost the battle, but granted, I was making predictions out the ass. Like, I knew what the guy was going to do. I just didn't have the team to, you know, really counter what he was doing. So, like I said, man, I, I, this is how I feel about it. I think... Uh, I think as humans, like, I've always felt this way. As humans, we are selfish. That's just the bottom line. At the end of the day, the you the question is, what's in it for me? And I think that's, you know, I, I think that holds true. I just never thought about, you know, being selfish would drive our actions. But now I do. So, I mean, I'm not saying every time you do something, you need to ask yourself, why am I doing this? But if you really stop to think about it, it's it could be for a selfish reason. Just making sure that there to see if there are any other items or anything over here. And there's an item, big mushroom. Could sell that. All right, we need to pick up the pace because I really want to take on the um, island child in this episode. All right, let's go north. Here's a trainer. I need the experience. At least I feel like I need the experience. <clears throat> Cottony. I mean, even if I had um, Bug Buzz or something like that, I couldn't do it. Like, I could, but it's a neutral hit, so. Moonblast. You have Prankster. I think that Cottony has Prankster. Oh my goodness, are you living that? You lived that. That Cottony has an Eviolite. Now you're gone. I should probably come up with more topics to talk about during episodes. <laughs> uh, Silver Wind. Let me see. Uh, 60 base power. Let me get rid of Fair Wind since I have Moon Blast. And then I have uh, another stab. And uh, as of right now, I'm not bulk recording, but I'm really considering it because I need to get to the end of the game. Oh, there's an item. Um, there's an item. Deal with it later. And there's a trainer. Smeargle.
And if I ever need money, I'm probably not going to sell my Pokeballs. I'm not going to buy any, but I'm not going to sell them. Just because shiny Pokemon are a thing. And if I find a shiny, I'm going to catch it. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to catch it. So, like, honestly, I'm just moon blasting everything. Like, it kind of helps with, like, if Cutiefly didn't have moon blast, like, it, it wouldn't be a great Pokemon to do this with, to do a solo run with. And why did you have to use Spite? Why did you have to use Spite? Alright, so you're gone. Oh look, it's how. Uh, not so good. I need to heal him up. The PMC, really? We, we're giving the Pokemon Center an acronym now. What did he give me? Three revives, okay. I'm not that I'm going to need them since I'm only going to ever have one Pokemon in my party. Alright, let me heal up. <clears throat> And I'm going to sell some stuff. Alright, so I'm going to sell these. Let me sell this. And this. Alright. Spiro Machop, no. I think you wanted to see a cutie fly. Sure. Yes, she did want to see a cutie fly. This just kind of works out. That 3K. Alright, <clears throat> actually, I need to buy medication. Um, let me check you. Okay. At some point, I'll soft reset for that Greninja, but... Obviously, you're going to do that off screen. And here's a Lima. Yes, I am prepared. Let's go. Let's go. So since I'm playing at night, because I did this in Moon, but I really don't know what happens like during the day at all. Um, is it just going to be Rattata? Or since I'm playing in Sun, is it going to be Young Goose? As Young Goose. Making a lot of noise back there. I 
I feel like I'm not leveled up enough. I don't remember what level the totem Pokemon was. No me. You are level eleven. I am not leveled up enough. I know I'm not. I'm not gaining any experience as of right now. Um, is that is this the right one? I don't know if this is the right one. I have an ether, right? Oh, yeah, that one counted. Uh, I can come back for that. That TM. Jerk. Stop running around. Team Skull. Yeah, I remember you. Please kill. Why? And you know what's stupid? Silverwind has five PP. Oh crap, I did not mean to do that. And then they're supposed to be blocking. Alright. Come on. Thank you for blocking those areas.
I really don't feel like I'm leveled up enough. Moonblast. Why would you do that? Level 14. Look at that gum shoes. Donald Trump! Boom! Alright. Please don't let me be too under level. And his defense is up. Not an issue. Oh, dude, we are fine. Uh, for whatever reason, I thought he was going to be like level 15 or 16. Scary face. Lower my speed. Like, I need this gumshoes gone. I don't want to deal with it the entire episode. Stop lowering my speed. Now you're gone. So slow. I'm so slow. Four hundred and fifty six points. Gone. Hey, cutie fly. Got that normally MZ. All right, let's get out of this cave. Can you let me go? Can I? I, I don't need to see all the dancing. Summon allies, yada yada yada. That's cool. Good to know, bro. Thanks for the great balls. Not gonna use them, but thanks. Alright, let's get out of here. Go to the Pokemon Center and uh, we'll start this episode fresh.
next episode. Oh, come on. Alright. I probably should have just killed it and got the experience. Ooh, almost jumped down. And here's something I can kill. You're still type. I'm not attacking you. <laughs> and we're out of here. Just, just with a touch, you can clear that barrier. That's how it works, bro. Alright. Come on. Just let me go to the Pokemon Center. Like, this is what I was talking about last episode. Like, there are so many cutscenes in this game. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, there doesn't need to be so many cutscenes. Come on. Do I have to watch him battle now? I gotta watch him battle. I miss the old games where, you know, you had to figure shit out for yourself. Like, they tell you one time, and then the rest of that shit, you gotta figure it out yourself. What does Z Lear do? Let's look it up while he's, uh, doing this. Like, I feel like Z Lear is just gonna, like, boost your own defense. Uh, let's see. Rock rough. Leer. Z. Oh, it boosts your attack one stage. I mean, nah, I mean, you would never use Leer in a competitive battle, but yo, know, that that's kind of interesting. Like you're lowering your opponent's defense and boosting your defense. So now we gotta go find Lily. Is that her name? Lily, right? She can wait till next episode. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... Actually, Cutie Fly may be healed up already. Yeah, he's already healed up. So, we're gonna end this episode here, you guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Should have a battle coming for you guys tomorrow at the same time. And we'll be back with another episode of the Solar Run on Friday. See you guys later. I'm Lynx. I'm out. Peace.